Nicolas Barret, welcome. Uh, you're the managing editor of Les Echos, which is the foremost French financial newspaper. Oh, well, the obvious question is, what is the future of the press, the printed press? How is Les Echos doing? What do you see are the challenges for the print medium? Uh, I mean, th there are lots of challenges, of course, but uh, we will have our seventh uh, consecutive year of growth uh, uh, for Les Echos. So in our case, we are very confident uh, for several reasons, but the main one is that we've been able to uh, move uh, on digital very early. Um, our uh, newsroom is, we have a single newsroom. We, we've always had a single newsroom and, and people work uh, first for the digital and then uh, for the for the print, uh, and we've been able to sell uh, our content uh, on digital at the same price as the print. I know this is an exception. Uh, there are other exceptions uh, as well in, in in the rest of the world, and mainly it's the business press. I mean, the Wall Street Journal, the Economist, the Financial, the Financial Times, Times, the Economist have been extremely successful in these times of uh, difficulty for the rest of the press because they've moved uh, quickly uh, on digital and we did that, that as well. And also surely they're providing something which the, the tabloid press, for example, yes. the popular press doesn't really provide. It's, a, it's an information for a specialist and specialized audience. Yes, that's the other uh, key uh, uh, point. Uh, and we have been able to capitalize on, on, on the quality of our content uh, and, uh, and for that reason we, we have uh, uh, a double digit growth in terms of subscription. Uh, last year uh, it was plus 30%, it's, it's going to be around 20% this year and the number of uh, uh, digital subscribers uh, is now bigger than the number of uh, print uh, subscribers. Uh, so uh, this, this uh, shift has been massive and, and it is true that many other newspapers uh, have been reluctant to move that quickly because they always had this idea that the print was a source of revenue advertising revenue uh, much higher than than the uh, than digital which is true but I in our sense uh, the share of advertising in the total revenue of the newspaper is it will continue to decrease yeah. uh, to the profit of uh, people who actually subscribe for our content very much the same with the economist and i think yeah, also exactly. have you had a, a, a trump effect i mean if you think of the new york times and the washington post they've both seen the sub subscriptions rise quite dramatically because of Trump? No, of course, uh, no. Uh, to be honest, it's, uh, I mean, the growth of uh, uh, digital uh, subscriptions uh, isn't related to uh, a Trump effect or not. But uh, what is true is that this uh, fake news uh, um, environment uh, is favorable for quality newspapers in a way because I mean, people know that they can trust our content, uh, and in, when you hear that uh, there are lots of false stories going on, uh, then it's probably good. part of the public, at least, is uh, will will go back to uh, uh, big, reliable brands. Well, I am a great admirer of Echo, and I wish you great success in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nicolas Barry. You're welcome.